Okay, now um, I have put three strings on one um, goose leg. So you can see there are three of them. This one, fourth string, I haven't tied it yet. And um, um, I found out that the with three string already on the left peg, it's already pretty thick. So I decide in instead of put the fourth string on top of the left leg, I will put the fourth string at the bottom of the right uh, leg. So um, it can go either way. So um, sometimes you put one, two, three, four on this one, and then five, six, seven on that one. Sometimes you put one, two, three on this one, you know, four, five, six, seven on the other. So either way should work. Um, it happens that these uh, lower strings are so thick, so I don't feel comfortable to put four layers on that one. So I will put the four thinner one on the other pack. And I'm also going to demonstrate, um, you know, if you don't have a little stick like that with a hole, um, you can also just use your finger, use your hand. But do not use your bare hand, use glove. So I put on this glove, and um, so I can roll the string around my, um, around my, my hand, around my fingers, and then loosen it up um, and tie it on the pack. So now see, I'm rotating it right, on my finger. So they are pretty you know, strong on my finger. And now what I'm going to do is to um, rotate it onto that pack. So before that I check the um, the fly's head is, is, is doing well and it's uh, uh, fully caught there. So check the sound. You know, sometimes during the process of rolling, it got loose, and so you want to check it before you finalize it. So it's still okay. Again, this does not look very elegant, but it works. Right? Take that off, so I can maneuver it a little bit better. So uh, again, I'm going to tighten it right now, so it will fasten there. So because I have the later rings on top of the earlier one, so when you tighten it up, it will become tighter and tighter instead of loosening up. Okay. 
it's not fully in tune, but it's okay for now. And I'm going to do for the rest five, six, seven on the right leg. Right. Okay, so this is the last string, string number seven, and I'm going to demonstrate again um, using a glove, using your hand to put it on. So, you know, make it really tight and um, secure in your hand. And um, make sure it goes as close as possible to the board for the first ring. Check the sound. good enough. Okay, start rolling on. Hold your strength and uh, make sure the later rings cover the earlier ring and with that strength it will fix it to where it is. Okay, and then the rest you can take it a little bit easy because supposedly the earlier rings had already been doing the job. Okay, now I found that the glove is a little bit um, not very helpful at this stage, so I take it off. So I have a good feeling about my touch to the string and um, last few rings. Check the song. It's still okay. So all the seven strings are on the instrument. Now, uh, next step is to to tune it. All right. To tune it, it also fasten them in the position, and um, and you are ready to go. Okay. Now, um, all the strings are on the instrument. Now we can tune it. So, um, um, when I use um, metal string, uh, the steel string, I tune it, um, the first string as a C, right? Um, C2, that is the second C from the left on the piano. But when I play um, silk string, I tune the third string C, um, because the silk string are usually easier to break, so I tune it lower, um, a pure fourth lower. So um, that means the first string should be G, right? So I'm going to tune it that way, and I'm going to use the app uh, which I use to, to tune, and um, let's see. Um, so this is a G. G. Now, when I first tune a newly in, um, installed uh, strings, I tune it in sequence from first string, then second, third, and eventually to the seventh. This way of tuning is good because um, these are the sequence um, where the later string is on top of the previous one. So this sequence tuning is different from the normal checking using harmonic. 
um, and um, this tuning makes sure when the lower layers are tight and then you tighten the upper layer and then eventually tighten it up. So um, I will first roughly tune it according to the relative accurate pitch uh, in that sequence. And this time I totally rely on my ear. So the first one is already a G. So it's a major second. <clears throat> so the third third string and second string is a minor third. So now this is not accurate, but it's roughly um, around the accurate pitch. Sol la do re mi sol la that that pitch. Now we need to tune it according to more um, accurate using harmonic, and this time I'm going to now we tune it in sequence. Now we can we we can tune it using harmonic, and uh, so the um, in this silk string tuning, the seventh string should be A, um, not D. Um, D is the uh, the metal string. Um, okay, so that's an A. And now I'm going to use harmonic, and harmonic tuning is the most accurate. Um, you just using by using your own ear. Okay, you know the uh, when string is so low, um, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to hear. But I think now it is in tune. Um, so the tuning is a G, A, C, D, E, G, A. Um, this is a silk string, so I tune it like this. When I use um, steel string, I tune it C, D, F, G, A, C, D. So um, you can hear the sequence of this silk string set as it, been, um, it has been to uh, fully installed and uh, tuned. Thank you.